lovelies. I don't know what time of year you're watching this, but um, it's it's the 20th of October right now. Um, I'm going to keep on using these for a long time, but I bought two of the shades of the Camo CC cream from e.l.f. I bought the shade 210N and 150C. I'm wearing 150C today because as you can tell I'm the palest today. I'm going to be using this a whole bunch and I'll be sharing my thoughts with you. We're going to dive into my first impressions and then going to keep going. I'll give you a bit of an update on my skin. So I have large pores. I have oily skin. I've got hyperpigmentation. I'm starting to get wrinkles because I am 31. Um, I'm probably 32 by the time you're watching this. So happy birthday to me. Um, so just so you know, like that's kind of the issues with my skin along with the oiliness. So yeah, I'm going to try this in a variety of ways. And uh, let's skip on straight through to how this wears, what I think of it, final thoughts, demonstrations, all that good stuff. Hello, and now you're at the intro, same as I am right now, because today is, what's the date? Today is the 20th of October, hence the spooky season in the background. Don't know when you're watching this video, but when I say I try things for a long time, I really mean it. These are the new to me Camo CC Cream from e.l.f. I've been really looking forward to these because they've got SPF 30 in them. But <laughs> as always, I like to remind you the amount that you need to apply to your face in order for this to actually be... Um, effective is way more than you feel comfortable wearing makeup <laughs> okay so um just the just a forewarning for you and the directions is apply one to two pumps uh, to clean skin using a brush to achieve an airbrush finish <laughs> i don't like using foundation brushes so i'll try with my fingers for this first time anyway the shades i got so this one is 210n which is neutral with beige undertones and this one is Fair 150C, which is cool with peach undertones. Because, hey, look, I am super pale, but I do tend to fake tan. Um, but yeah, just because of that, I like to mix both. And I got these when there was a 40%, like, buy one, get one 40% off sale on the e.l.f. website. So I was like, getting some of these because I love their foundation. I wore... I wore the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation on my wedding day and that held up beautifully. Like, I actually really do like products from e.l.f. The only way that you get holographic like this is when it's got plastic in it. So that means that despite the best thoughts, this can't get recycled. Let's um, just wash my hands and then let's get to it. So you need to hold it horizontally. That will probably do. Ooh, thick. This is honestly how I used to apply my foundation in high school. Oh my gosh. Flashbacks to waking up at stupid hours of the morning to do my makeup every day, literally like this. Okay, this dries pretty quickly. This is like the foundation brush I've got. Like when they say that this can be full coverage, they really mean it. I didn't need to use three pumps. I'm used to having to do that for my normal foundation of theirs. Let's just see exactly how this looks right now. And I'll apply my other products and I'll be back to just have a little check-in. First impressions. Um, hikey impressed. Like, my skin looks amazing. Like, just please ignore my under eyes. Um, I tried to... Oh, I... I filmed another video, so ignore this arm. I think this is a good, pretty good match considering the fact that I'm untanned at the moment. Um, I definitely need a bit more colour to feel comfortable. I haven't set it, so I will come back at the end of the day. Wow, that highlighter looks amazing. Sorry. But anyway, I found that the coverage, I haven't used any concealer or anything. Um, it looks good applied with a brush or without a brush. I'm just going to see how this keeps going. We're going to use this for a while. So it is now nearly 7 o'clock at night and I've done exercise. I've been outside a few times today to walk the cats. Had a full day working. So this has been on for 11 hours now. And let's just see how this works. I clearly, I don't even know what I did. I think I hit my Marilyn book against my nose. I did something. <laughs> but yeah, that's just come clean off. But honestly... I didn't even set this. Let's see, has it settled into my lines? Because I tend to get foundation settle in. No. Hi, hello. Um, so first impressions, pretty promising, honestly. It's a little bit deceptive because it looks very different 
from first use to when it's full. So we'll be seeing how long this lasts, won't we? Obviously, my oil is starting to break through, but if I hadn't set foundation before this point, it would be terrible. And I even looked at like four o'clock before I did a workout, like it was still looking good. So <laughs> very promising for the future. Anyway, let's keep going. So today I've actually applied this with a sponge and I use like nearly two pumps to cover my face and neck. And I use the shade Fair 150C. So you can just see how this looks. I have not set my face. The only thing I set was my eyes. So I really just want to see like the coverage of this. Like as you can see, I've still got breakouts. I went over the spots where I have spots, but I haven't used concealer anywhere other than just under my eyes. That's it. So it actually applied pretty okay with a sponge, which was impressive. It doesn't say to use one, but I just wanted to try it out anyway because I use this more like a foundation because I would obviously be layering sun cream underneath this if I was going outside anywhere because that is uh, very important as we know. So it is now, what, nine in the morning and I've got a full day of meetings. So I'll probably see you after I've worked out. Let's see how this goes. So it's close to eight o'clock at night and I've had this makeup on for nearly 11 hours now. Again, I did not set it. I haven't done anything at all. I haven't even reapplied my lipstick as you can very clearly tell. Um, but the thing is, like, I, when I looked at it, I was like, wow, my pores look really good like throughout the day. Um, I've done a full hour workout. I've been outside. I've had a very stressful day. Um, I've cried a bit. Um, just the regular work day, basically. Like, for someone with super oily skin to it's, like, it's still looking like this, I'm actually Super impressed because I did not set this one bit. Let's just see how transfer proof is it. Uh, well, it's a mixture of grease and the product. <laughs> so, uh -huh. mm, shiny. I'll definitely need to set it. But again, this is about 11 hours of wear, so I think we can forgive it a bit. Let's just see how it works regularly. Full transparency, I did nearly a whole pump of each of these. Oh my gosh, it like covered everything. Um, I've been wearing this for nine odd hours. But I have worn a mask today. Like I did a very fast, like 10 minute makeup look today, um, which is why I'm, I'm just showing you, this does not work as a primer. Just a heads up in case you were wondering, shocker, don't do that. Um, but I wore a mask and look at how little rubbed off. Oh my gosh, like that's, it's a little bit around here, it's a little bit there. And all I did was like, I applied this with my fingers <laughs> and I used a brush to just like put some setting powder on. That's all I did, literally. The fastest, quickest job ever. Now it, you can see where I've used the e.l.f. putty blush because I'm still trying this out to see if I can make it work somehow, but it always takes away the product so you can actually see my pigmentation more. I love the way that this makes the, finish of my skin look because it just kind of goes over my pores. There's no primer, there's no nothing. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. One thing I was noticing was that if I touched my face or like rubbed around my neck a bit too much because like you get with any sort of sun cream thing like it kind of balls up a little bit. So as a little bit of possibly a halfway update I've used just the shade Fair 150C today so you can see the colour against my skin. Yes I've got a bit of glitter on my face. I've actually been finding this is looking great even at the end of the day and because I'm going to be wearing this all day long like I started putting this on before 8 in the morning so I'll come back at around about the 12 hour mark so you can really see how it's worn because I'll have a workout. It's raining today, humidity is very high so yeah there's a lot of things working against this. So all I've done is I moisturize, I've put this on, I've even applied it with a sponge today. I've blotted using my Cover FX um, setting powder, which I do every day and I use the sponge. And oh my gosh, I love the finish of this. I know that I've got glitter. Just try and ignore that if you can. We're festive, it doesn't matter. Right now it's nine in the morning. I've got a whole bunch of meetings to go to. It's gonna be a very long day and a workout. So let's get on to future briny. 8.30, so my makeup has officially been on for over 12 hours today and I did a really intense workout. One, I know the glitter did not fall, amazing. Two, this is how my skin is looking after a stressful day. <laughs> um, a really, really big workout. Considering the fact I've got really oily skin that can tend to like eat makeup, 
like this has actually lasted so well <laughs> like again super I, I just keep on being really impressed by this that's all I can really say it's just like what? <laughs> I've used one pump of 120, one pump of 150. Um, as you can see, like these bottles just, it looks like the product goes down so freaking quickly. That's my one thing about it, because when you get it, it's like fat and full, and then it's like, oh, it's actually just got air in it. It's one of my peeves about it, but I'm a cheapskate. I'm gonna be doing the trick where you'd like <laughs> scoop it all out, do, do everything you can to get every last drop out. Like, I don't even know if all of that is product or if that's just air. I don't know. But anyway, so let's just see how my skin is looking. I'm still dealing with some stress breakouts because I'm dealing with burnout. So let's just have a look. I really, really like the way that these wear. It makes my skin look so much smoother. Um, and the coverage is really good. And there's cops again. There's always cops. I'm gonna be putting my mask on and off all day because we're going out shopping because it's the day after Boxing Day and our furniture's broken. So anyway, we're just gonna see how well this goes. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get going. It is before nine in the morning and I'll be checking in after 12 hours. Uh, so let's give it a whirl, shall we? Next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half my face with just my old favorite foundation then the other half in this and then we'll be able to make our final decision. I'm so tired, it's ridiculous. It is quarter to nine at night, which I know does not sound late, but when you're burnt out, it is incredibly late. So anyway, I've had my mask on and off all day. We've run around from place to place to place. See, oof, I have some oily glaze to my face. You can see like it's definitely rubbed off on my nose and it's kind of like starting to separate, but this has been on for over 12 hours now. So that is pretty good considering the humidity here. But honestly, like the way that this is after like taking my mask on and off repeatedly, um, not bad. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so we're putting this to the real test. So on the purple side, I'm gonna be doing my regular foundation, which has always been my favorite. And on the pink side, I'm gonna be doing the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. As you can see, my skin has been having a bad time because I'm dealing with a really bad session of burnout. Um, so anything is exhausting to me right now. I have no motivation, no anything, um, but I did change the background. So let me know what you think of that. Um, some of these gift, 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 Love that stuff. All local. All that good stuff. Good old Christmas. Um, so yeah, we've got a very busy day up ahead. I've got a bit of alabaster. I'll put a tiny drop of buff in as well. Colors may not match, but that doesn't matter. We're literally prepping to sort concrete out tomorrow. Going on a walk, taking down the Christmas tree, and like sorting out stuff to sell secondhand or whatever. Like that's that's the plan for today. So I don't care that my hair is greasy as hell. I don't care <laughs> and same as goes for my nails since we're pouring concrete tomorrow and if you have to mix concrete by hand and deal with big old slabs of stone then you too will also know the perils of um having your nails break on you and i need to be able to film for new year's i think it's like the 28th of december today it's around about there like i said i don't really think that these two sides of my face will match i don't care so I really have tried to use the same amount, which equates to be like one pump, if that makes sense, of um, just the Camo CC cream, since that one's easier to get a full pump of. So that's what I've tried to do. I do feel like the Camo CC one is thicker and has a higher coverage. Let's just see how both of those are right now. I'm going to set it and do all of that stuff and deal with my concealer and all of that off camera. Then we'll come back, do an assessment, and I'll see you at the end of the day. As a reminder, on this side of my face is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and this side is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Let's just see how it, my face looks now that I've set my face and done all of the other stuff to it, because obviously I look fairly different now. <laughs> I also accidentally coordinated, um, which is fine, right? I, why not? It's like I'm going to be stuck with my tea all day. As a reminder, the regular, famously favorite foundation and the Camo CC cream. So we can just see the difference. It's okay, sweetie, you can walk down the stairs. <laughs> I'm not so lost because it's very noisy. <laughs> 
Like personally, I see quite a difference in the finish of this one. This one, it seems to finish a much more like blurring sort of effect. And I'm gonna be really interested to see because I didn't actually set my neck so then we can hopefully see this side settle into my creases and this side not because that's what I've been experiencing so far. So it's just really good to actually put this to the proper test now. It's just after nine in the morning. So I'll be back after six o'clock tonight to show you how it is. Like I said, we're up to a lot today. So it is 7.30 at night. So this has been on for 10 plus, over 10 hours, which is fine. That's enough as far as I'm concerned. As you can see, um, today's been a big day. We also actually mixed the concrete today, so that meant I had to wear a mask as well. So I've had sunglasses on, so you can see it's rubbed away, that always happens to me. And I've had a mask on, so that's why it's missing in places, because that's going to happen when you're dealing with concrete for over two hours as well. And also going on a big walk, um, so it's really been put to the test today. <laughs> Now, one thing that I was noticing when we even came back from the walk um, this afternoon was that the pores on this side of my face using this actually seemed to be, like I said, more blurred over, whereas on this side, they seem to be more defined. Whereas right now, <laughs> I don't really see much difference in terms of the creasing. Like, I've got a little line here where it normally settles into on both sides. It just didn't on this side. Maybe that's because the makeup got rubbed away. Who knows? Obviously you already know that this was my favourite foundation beforehand, but this one's actually performing better still. <laughs> because like the way that my face was looking um, even just a few hours ago before I was wearing a mask, this side was still looking better than this one. And I think that the coverage on this one is still better too because it's a bit more transparent here because you know that I've got problematic skin. I like to cover up my secrets. I am a Scorpio after all. so. Yeah, I would still be saying this one is my favourite now. So this is officially my new favourite foundation. I have, like I said, no other issues with this. And considering how much we got done today, it's been enough of a test. I'm calling it now. Favourite one. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, me going through these ridiculous tests to see <laughs> how well um, this actually does function in comparison. Um, I'm really, really pleased that I've been able to find this one. I've actually ordered more because they had a Boxing Day sale because it's that good that I will keep on buying this. Um, like I said, I'll have the colours that I tend to use listed down below. Right now I don't have any fake tan on, so this is my normal colour, so I have to mix this fair 120N with the 150C because special like that so yes let me know if you've tried this as well or if you've tried this foundation like I said I used to love this one too I still do I'm still gonna keep on like using this stuff up it's just I think that this just beats it that bit better so yeah thank you lovelies so so much for watching and I'll see you again next time bye